then today I am doing kind of like a combo video PR unboxing and giveaway. I'm doing it together because the giveaway that I'm doing is something that was sent to me. I totally didn't expect it and it's amazing and I think you'll be excited about it hopefully. And so I want to share it with you guys as like a thank you for being a subscriber. Obviously this is a giveaway for my subscribers. There's going to be a link in the description down here. It's super, super easy. If you're already subscribed to my channel, it's extremely easy. If you aren't, you could subscribe. I'd be cool with it. There are also a few more options involved if you wanted to like kind of throw your name in the hat a few more times because it's just going to be drawn completely randomly. I will have all the details for the giveaway in the description down below if you want to look at that. But first, we're gonna look at the PR stuff. So you gotta wait to see what the prize is or you could skip ahead and be a total cheater. Only you will know, you and God. It's up to you. Anyway, hopefully you guys are down to see kind of like an unboxing video. I have thoughts on some of it. Some of it I haven't tried, but it will be nice to look at it with you for the first time. I'll try to do some swatches. I'm also gonna try not to take forever because I have Smashbox, Urban Decay, Tarte, Dermalogica and Milk Makeup. Okay, first up, something I am super excited about. I'm already pretty much totally in love with it. I have it on my eyes right now. I showed it on Snapchat because I was like so pumped when I opened it. It's a new Tarte eyeshadow palette. Actually, it is the Clay Play Face Shaping Palette and it actually includes contour colors as well. So we have a bunch of eyeshadows up here and then these are contour shades, but you could always use the contour shades on your eyes as well. Uh, I haven't used the contour shades as much as I have the eyeshadow. On the little card that they included with it, it says, it's like shapewear for your face. Power Sculpt Lift and Contour for your eyes, nose, face, and brows. So you can kind of do it all with this palette. I really like the packaging. I am obsessed with the gigantic mirror. I have to have a mirror, please. Um, I'm pretty picky when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. I like when they are an all-in-one palette. Like I don't want to be missing like a matte highlight or a matte black. Like I guess I expect a lot when it comes to a palette, especially this one it goes for $46. If I spend $46 on a palette, it needs to kind of have it all. I need to be able to take this on a trip with me and not need other eyeshadows. That's how I feel. I don't know if you feel the same way, um, but I like this hard packaging. I like the design on the outside. It's kind of like distressed chevron, I don't even know kind of look. These are all really great neutral colors. We have warm neutrals. We have cool neutrals. We've got some good matte highlight or matte lid shades. Um, and I haven't tried this super dark contour color. I don't think this would be amazing for my skin tone, but it's nice that they include one that is really dark like that. I get excited to use it every time I've been using it. Granted, it's been like a couple of days, but I'm into this. All right, I just decided we're not gonna mix it up. We're gonna go brand by brand. This is a Tarte product that I am not so in love with. These are the new Amazonian Clay Stick Foundations. And to be completely honest and upfront, I haven't gotten along with most stick foundations slash all stick foundations that I've used. I don't know what it is, but they just never quite work out with me. Either they're too oily or in this case, and I've only tried it one time. I was a little bit scarred from the experience. I need to revisit it, but it was too dry on me. I've been using a lot more like Retin-A and different serums with acids in them. I'm trying to like up my skincare game right now and I've been trying some things and it's resulted in some like patchy dryness here and there. It's not even dryness, but it once I put makeup on, depending on the foundation, it looks dry. And this foundation definitely did that to me. Um, it's supposed to be a mattifying foundation, so it'd be really good if you're really oily. And I am typically oily. Like, I feel like I'm still oily, even though I have this dryness going on. It's a weird situation. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't know what I'm doing. You guys already know that. The thing that I thought was kind of interesting about this that like really kind of made me excited is it says it has micro encapsulated powders that burst with body heat to absorb excess oil. As a pretty oily person, that made me really excited. I do need to revisit this, but for now, not that excited about it. That's just how I feel. Next up from Smashbox. I don't know what it is, but I really like this box. Smashbox came out with a new primer. Uh, they have a 
billion primers. The Photo Finish Primer line keeps expanding. And this one is the Radiance Primer. It says, the glow up is real. Usually, I would not even go for like a Radiance kind of primer. Like being an oily person, I'm like, no, that's just pushing my luck. Like I'm already quite radiant with the natural oils that I sport every single day. But so I've been kind of trying to get into the like super glowy, pretty sweat kind of look that is compatible with oily skin. I haven't really come up with a title, but I'm gonna come up with some kind of like video that gives tips or my favorite products or even a tutorial. I don't know, are you interested in this idea? Give it a thumbs up, comment, something like that. But I've been using this, I have it on my skin right now and I actually really like it. Uh, it has a really pretty kind of golden glow. It kind of seems like it would be pigmented, but on my skin, it's not. It almost seems like it'd be like a coppery rose gold, but I actually think it complements my skin tone and I don't notice like a change of color when I use it. So far, I've really been liking this. All right, next up we have Dermalogica. Say goodnight to lip lines. Uh, and guys, is this not adorable like can you even see it it's a little bed there's like little pillows right here am i the only one that's like a total sucker and i'm just like eh, that's so cute why they included two of their nightly lip treatments i generally enjoy dermalogica products this one however not so much mainly just because like i don't feel like i've used it enough to tell you whether it works or not but i can tell you it tastes gross and this is supposed to go on your lips I don't know if you guys can deal with that but I, I just don't understand why you wouldn't make this like taste good maybe they don't want to put in anything that would be irritating your skin I'm not really sure but it does hold me back from wanting to use it more to actually see if it helps with lip lines I don't know that's just how I feel all right next up we have a milk makeup they had actually never sent me anything before and then I got this I was super excited milk makeup I know are you do you remember I did that whole like marshmallow eyeshadow review test out kind of video? Didn't go very well. Um, I haven't revisited Milk Makeup since then, but they sent me this. It is the Mars Holographic, Holographic <laughs> stick and it is a like a highlighter stick and it looks like a little baby like roller deodorant in my mind. Whoa! <laughs> I haven't tried their other stick. I think it's pretty popular, but this one is just a different shade and it's called Mars. It's kind of a holographic golden peach shade and I was immediately like very intrigued because it's got kind of like a pinky gold shift. It's invisible from some angles and from some angles it's like pink, gold, whoosh, I have it on my little highlight area right now and I like it is it actually sets down and I don't feel tacky. Like I want to look a little tacky, but I don't want to feel tacky. I think that's just a personal preference. Right now it seems like everybody wants like an actual wet sticky face. I'm not down for that. And I actually have an extra one. You know what? Change of plans. They sent two. I'm going to include this in the giveaway as well as that extra lip treatment. I know I just told you it tastes bad, but hey. Maybe somebody will like it. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm gonna give it to you. All right, we have finally arrived at our destination, Urban Decay. The biggest part about this giveaway is Urban Decay is coming after this box. I had never gotten Urban Decay packages before, and then I got this one, and I was just like, oh my gosh. I had already seen it on Snapchat like a million times. Naked skin shapes shapeshifter that's very hard for me to say i have been trying this out it's basically just a powder highlight and contour palette that also has a cream highlight and contour palette along with i have not tried the cream shades to be honest because i don't usually go for cream contour and highlight i feel like that's a lot of cream products on my face however i have been using the powders i have them on my face now and i like them the only thing that i don't really like is the actual product is pretty small so if you're going for your highlight shade with your brush you might get a little bit of contour. Maybe you guys are like a little more, more careful and precise, but like when I'm doing my makeup, I'm like, ah, like throw it on my face. And 
that would kind of like mess things up if you were trying to highlight and got a little contour. But I do really like these shades and I do like the highlight. It's not like a crazy, crazy blinding, but it's really pretty. I mean, you could probably, you could probably make this blinding. I do really appreciate the fact that they separated the powder and the cream. That's very smart. I like that there's a mirror. I do like this packaging, except I wish they were a little bit more spaced out. I might be speaking too soon, but I do still prefer the Cap On D Shade and Light. I know that's an old one, but it's been good to me, and I have to say that. Okay, next up, this is the Velvetizer. I am kind of intimidated by this product. I haven't tried it yet, though I do think it's a cool concept. Basically, it is a powder that you can mix in with your foundation to give it more of a velvety texture. I don't know why, but the, uh, like I, I am proceeding with caution. It just says it's a it mix a dime sized amount of this translucent mix in medium and to create an extra velvety feel, a beautiful matte finish to add coverage. Okay. It just feels wrong to do that. I don't know. I want to try it. Maybe I should like do it on camera. Would you guys want to see that? I don't, I'm just, this is crazy to me. But sometimes it's the crazy stuff that work. You don't know. Next up, this is the Liquid Aura Illuminating Mix-In Medium. So it's another thing to mix in with your foundation. And this is kind of like a purpley, kind of unicorn-y. It's not shimmery. It just has kind of like a, a shift. I did try this one time and I didn't notice like a big difference. Maybe I didn't use enough. Um, this like has a dropper, but it doesn't really drop. It's it's thicker than that. Oh, oh, if you do a drop, it is a big drop. There is a lot going on in this box. This is a powder. It is the Translucent Pressed Beauty Powder. Um, I really like the packaging. This is such a pretty, it reminds me of my face powder that I use a lot. This is Burberry. It's been through some stuff, but it's like a metal compact. I like that. Um, a nice big mirror and it's a translucent powder, but it's got some kind of like lifelike, not shimmer. So it is a little shimmery. I don't know, I haven't tried this one. At first I thought it was a highlight, but it's not a highlight. It's more of like an all over illuminizer. It comes with this sponge. Let's just use it right now. Let's just do it all right now. Ooh, I'm pretty oily. I like turned off my AC for this. I've been trying to work on my sound situation. Tell me if you notice a difference. I'm trying some things. Hmm, I kind of like this. Not sure, but I think it could be good. Maybe they're trying to go for a sort of like a hourglass dim light kind of thing. I like that. Oh my gosh, I'm about to ugly sweat in just a second. We might need to turn on the fan because the ugly sweat is coming. All right, screw all of my efforts to have good sound. Oh well. How random Urban Decay came out with a fragrance. As far as I know, they've never had a fragrance before. They probably have and I just didn't know about it. But this actually smells really, really good. Uh, it says go naked. It doesn't seem as if you're wearing perfume at all, but more like you spent the day in the ocean and your skin was warmed by the afternoon sun. <laughs> I haven't worn it on my skin yet. Oh, well, let's do it. I, ooh, I don't know. When I just smelled it in the container, I was like, ooh, I really like that. That's nice. It's subtle. Yeah. But whoa, on my skin, for some reason, it's coming off way more intense almost like like a sea breeze candle or something like that and that could totally work for some people for me i am not too sure i don't know maybe it's calming down we'll see okay on to the giveaway portion of the evening i got this very pretty rose goldy kind of copper box all three naked eyeshadow palettes. I don't know if you already have these. They were like the craze of the age a few years ago. I already have two of them and so I don't need these. So I'm gonna give them away to you guys. Um, I actually want to give all three to one person. I'm also gonna throw in the Milk Holographic Mars stick and then also the Dermalogica Lip Line Lip Treatment. I don't know if you feel like that's a lot of things. Some people on YouTube like give away like iPads and like computers and stuff. How are they doing that? I don't know. Too rich for my blood. I'm giving away some makeup. I just wanna thank you guys for being my subscribers and supporting me over the years. I've been on YouTube for so long and some of you guys have been with me since like day one and I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys. I have 
oh, I say this a lot, but I feel like I have the best group of viewers and subscribers anywhere. I see so much like weird YouTube drama and stuff like that happening sometimes and it just makes me appreciate you guys even more because I feel like you guys are so accepting of me and like it just seems like you guys are like endlessly supportive like whatever I decide to do like I'm trying a different kind of video I do my vlog channel like all different kinds of things and you guys are just there for me and I love that and I want to kind of like say thank you show some gratitude hopefully you're excited for this giveaway give this video a thumbs up if you're excited definitely make sure you're subscribed go to the link in the description that's how you enter it should be super super easy the giveaway will be ending at midnight on a day. I need to look at my calendar. I will put it on the screen right here. Like I said, all the details will be in the description down below if you wanna check that. And yeah, good luck. I hope you guys are excited. I'm so excited for you to be here and I hope you keep coming back every single week. If you're subscribed, you are my people and I love you. And as always, thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. I really have it outside of where are you? I have misplaced my shapeshifter. Work with me, girl.